I just got back from cross-country skiing and I wanted to see if my makeup looked as good after as before I left the house. So first I want to show you a clip of me saying just a couple words before I left. This is me before cross-country skiing. All right, so all I did when I got home was to print my hair a little bit. Thinking, you know, if you're out, and again, this is cross-country skiing, not um, downhill, but you're, you're out with friends, you stop in a lodge or in a restaurant, and you have time to stop in the ladies' room and take care of your hair. Maybe the only makeup with you is lipstick and lip gloss. Um, I didn't even touch mine up. So here's uh, the makeup that I did that ended up lasting. And I did get hot. It was, it was kind of chilly out there, and um, <clears throat> there was a little bit of a wind. I thought as I was heading back that it was maybe about 22 degrees out, but <laughs> once I got in my car, it said 29. It didn't feel like 29 until I got hot and started. Um, I had a hood up once I got cold, and I put the hood down. And just like a lot of times when you cross-country ski, I got hot. So I could feel it in my face. I was wearing sunglasses, and even those got a little steamed up um, when I stopped to blow my nose, and I put them back. Anyway, so it was a hot and cold day. So it was a perfect time for makeup to not perform well. So here's what I did. I started with um, the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, just a tiny little bit. And after that... I put on my Emlyn um, under eye, which I'm down to the last little bit. And then um, I put on some powder. I just used a regular pressed powder and a kabuki brush from Paula's Choice. Then after that, I put on, today I was experimenting with another drugstore brand. I used the L'Oreal Visible Lift and I can't read the color name, but I'll put it below if, below the video if you click show more. Um, I'll link to that. So I'm finding that these other um, foundations that I'm not used to work better if I put some on my hand, and this has a pump so that's easy to do, and then I use a flat brush that I call a stipple brush, and I put some on my hand, and then I stipple it all over my face, and once it's stippled on, then I start blending it in, and it blends very nicely. So then after that, I did a little more under eye concealing with the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. And I'll put below what color this is. <laughs> and this is nice. Um, it goes on. It's really thin when it goes on. It's not as thick as this one. But then after that, I put on a little more foundation with my finger just to pat it in. And then I buffed it in with this. Okay. Then I did some highlighting, which I'll, I've shown in some other videos. I'll link below to other videos that show how I do that. And I use the MAC Prep and Prime. And again, below, I cannot read that. <laughs> I'll tell you what color it is. Then I buffed that out as well. Then I did the powder one more time, and I used a big fluffy brush with the powder. And then I decided to try the contouring, which I don't think I've actually shown here. On, anyway. And it used a trick used by um, a young woman who said she can't use the brown-based contouring stick. So I used, this is an eyeshadow in a matte taupe, and I used a little brush like this. And after putting a little bit on, I put it down here. And I put it down here on both sides. It just like it looks like dirt. It really does. Then I take the old faithful brush and I blend it in. Okay, I don't blend it into my neck. I don't like how that looks. And I blend this in here. And then I use a blush. And this blush color is from Studio Gear. And for me, it's a nice, slightly peachy pink color. Put that on top. Um, Actually, before that, I things lined up here in the order that I thought I used them. But for highlighting, just for fun, I have this Sonia Kashuk Luminosity Stick, and I put it right here and here before blush. Sorry. And I put some here. Cupid's bow, chin. That's it. 
buffed it in with this brush. Very nice. Okay, so that was all the contouring. For eyes, I used the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. Love this stuff. And I've shown in some other videos, I just use a little tiny bit. That's all I use. I just get a little bit off the end and put that on. And I let that sit in for about 30 seconds to a minute while I go do something else. Then um, I use, I do my eyeliner first. This is, um, I can't see it, Rimmel. And it's a color called Panama, which is a dark brown. And then after I line my eyes with it, I use um, a small angled brush and I put a dark brown on. Then I do my mascara and the eyeshadows I was using today are from Paula's Choice in her Nude Matte Select Collection. And um, I put on this one today. I line my eye over my liner, just a little bit of powder with this one um, to your left. So I started with this on most of my lid and under the brow bone, and then I have this one on most of my lid, and then I did, I have to look upside down, then I did a little bit of, oh, when I did this one in the, sorry, this one, this one, this is the one I did on my lid, and I also used it in the crease, I'm going low key today, and then I did a little bit of this one, in part of the in the outer crease out here and into here that's it and then I took my long skinny eyebrow brush put a tiny bit of these two powders on just these two tapped it off got rid of it blew it off and then did my eyebrows and apparently I need to do my nails <laughs> so that's how I did my makeup today that lasted through cross-country skin I'm looking at it now in a mirror um, you know I was sweating out there and it lasted. So if you're looking for, um, especially if you have mature skin, I'm 55 now, I'm 55. Um, of course, I was wearing sunscreen under all of this makeup. Um, a good UVA and UVB protecting sunscreen. But this is the makeup I wore and exercised in and was in the cold and in the wind and in the sun and in, now in the cloudy and um, it works. So. Um, if you have some ideas for makeup that you put on that has lasted through some kind of exercise, winter or summer, indoors or out, go ahead and write a comment below. I'd like to hear about it. Thanks.